I'd like to do an example problem where we work through the equations of motion for a projectile. It's moving with constant acceleration. As we said, constant acceleration is a special case, but it does uh, represent a case where we have very easy equations of motion to deal with, and it corresponds to whenever we let something fall in the field of gravity. In this problem, consider a case where we launch something off the side of a table, and a table might have a certain height h. We're going to launch it off in exactly in the horizontal direction, and as we know, something like this will eventually fall to the ground, and we're going to study uh, two particular features of that falling process. So we're going to ask the question, when does it fall to the ground? How long does it take? And where does it strike the ground? In other words, there will be a certain distance from this point where the, the table edge is over to where the ball finally strikes the ground. To answer this, question, this set of questions, it's best to take this in steps. It strikes the ground at a time when uh, y equals 0. If we set up a coordinate system, this is y and this is x, and we put the origin of that coordinate system right here at the corner, we know that it strikes the ground when y equals 0. Well, y always follows an equation for uniform acceleration given by y naught plus v naught in the y direction times time plus 1 half times a in the y direction times t squared. So I don't know what time this will be, but I know when that time occurs, this expression for y will equal 0. So we need to put in some knowledge here about what some of these constants are, because we have 1, 2, 3 constants. In this case, the y naught is equal to h. That's the height of the table. And for the particular problem I've chosen here, the v naught in the y direction is 0. This initial speed is purely off in the horizontal direction. It's off to the side. It's not being launched up. It's not being launched down. Therefore, this middle term is 0. The third term has an acceleration in the y direction, and that's minus g. In our coordinate system, y goes up. And so the direction of little g is, it, is down, which means it's in the minus y direction. Here is g. So we're going to write minus 1 half g times t squared. And we want to know a time when this equals 0. In other words, 1 half g t squared, if I move it over to your side of the expression, equals h, or it's a time t is equal to 2h over g. So that's a way of telling us how long it takes. Notice that there's nothing in here about how heavy the ball is, so it doesn't matter if I launched a Buick or a ping pong ball or a tennis ball or a big rock. It's just going to depend on how tall the table is and this gravitational constant g, which is 9.8 meters per second squared. The second part of our question is where does it strike the ground? We know in the other direction there's an equation of motion as well. It's a completely separate equation of motion. But it's the same equation. And x as a function of time will equal some initial x plus v naught in the x direction times time plus 1 half a sub x times t squared. And again, I don't know a lot of these constants, but we can start filling in some of the things that we do know. This, at, at some later time, is the thing we would like to know. We would like to know where it strikes the ground. Remember, in our coordinate system, the origin is right here, and the ball is going to land somewhere over there. The initial x since the ball started at the table, that's quite high up in the y direction, but it's at x equals 0. So that first term is 0. 
v naught in the x direction, well, it is, that's just v naught because our initial speed was off to the side. And the second, uh, the third term here, one half a x t squared, a sub x is zero. The ball is only accelerating in the vertical direction. That's down. And in the horizontal direction, it's just executing uh, linear motion. So this x at this later time will equal v naught times t. And what time should we put in there? We should put in the time that we calculate for when the ball strikes the ground, because it will keep moving off to the right until the ball strikes the ground. So that's v naught times 2h over g. And that's our entire answer. So the ball will go further if I launch the ball faster. In other words, it says v naught is larger. It will go further if this h, the height of the table, is uh, higher. It would also go further if the gravitational constant g was a little bit smaller, but we can't change that other than by going to the moon or something, where g is a little bit smaller than here on Earth. Notice that there, this equation is the same as for the y direction, but all the constants came out completely different. We were at a different x naught, we had a different initial speed in the x direction, and we had a different acceleration. We have to get very used to the idea of using the same equations in both the x and the y direction, but manipulating uh, their results differently depending on the initial conditions.